and welcome back to Normandy SR2. Yeah. Take, taking a nice tour of the ship. <coughs> deck, we're currently deck two. So let's go have a chat with Joker, yeah. and I get, I guess we'll talk to the AI. Mm. Joker is more important. Yeah, but I might as well talk to the, to the AI too. Yeah, I suppose. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI uh, is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you're <coughs> such a downer. <laughs> you're such a downer. <laughs> yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. No, she admits the fact that there are listening devices on the ship. Mm -hmm. so, so she's not programmed to lie about it. Yeah. At least she's honest with us. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. And she also doesn't even know everything she's capable of. Excuse me? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship -ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, <laughs> I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. You know, just casually core meltdown the opposition. Yeah, man. It works. Sounds yeah. incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> <coughs> Let's discuss something else. Maybe. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Of course. Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. In other words, she has a literal physical block keeping her from accessing that data. Cerberus has secrets. No shit. That's all for them. <laughs> Logging you out, Shepard. Normandy has largely stayed the same size. Yeah. At least internally. Same. Though some of the layout has changed, obviously. Mm -hmm. Sense. Okay, first things first. Guns. Guns, 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 guns! The eviscerator instead of the katana. Alright, we don't have levers of weapons. Yeah, and that's the arc projector. 
I'll keep the grenade launcher for now. Anyways, I don't have the heavy weapons yet. I still have to purchase them. Hmm. Which is probably for the better. Some of them can be a little silly. I can imagine, yes. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. In other words, the token good teammate. Yep. And that just leads to the comm room and uh, science lab, which is currently closed. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course I have. Yep, another one. Currently, nobody's down here in engineering, so we'll go up to the crew, down to the crew quarters instead. Oh, cool. You don't tell you exactly who's in it. Yeah. And if you open up the map, place. it also tells you where each person can be found. Miranda's cabin, AI core, main battery. It doesn't actually label them, but if you know the character, you can guess accurately where they will be. Fair enough. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay sure. any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <coughs> Thanks. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Her admitting that makes that one kind of pointless. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. It's like, openly admits she's human. She makes mistakes. Immediately comes around, you're Just cocky. Again. Come on, Rupert. Yeah, this kind of thing. Sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. <coughs> Sarcasm is unbecoming. Commander Shepard. The hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... 
Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Uh, I won't no, take any more NASA. Back to work. Just... Don't... <laughs> But it's hey, a, at least the ship starts with a familiar face. Yeah. Commander Shepard. One of them. I watched yep. the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. Oh, uh, yeah. I wish more of the original crew. Almost didn't recognize her. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle <coughs> of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Mm, if we see one. Yeah. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. She still turns stiff as a board. Quest, find Brandy. <laughs> yep. It's very important. Yes, yes indeed. Life support. Access to life support is restricted. Port observation. The port observation deck is closed until needed. In other words, how to find where squad mates are going to hang out when you get them. <clears throat> Look for the red door. Sounds about right. There's actually a couple engineers over on the engineering deck that we can talk to, but we'll get to them later. No mm -hmm. questions for you, Commander. See, she said there were messages before we went down. Now there's no messages. Go figure. Um, so about uh, I miss this way of, of moving around. How to tell the Omega 4 Reload's bad news. <coughs> <coughs> it's red. So, the usual way. <laughs> yep. So, remember how I mentioned uh, finding minerals was a bigger pain in the ass? Um in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. This is yet another thing that I said no to. One probe to get it all. Hmm. Yeah, at least you don't have to go all the way down and drama <sighs> down. <coughs> Andromeda. I know the least about Andromeda, yeah, between all of them, so... Basically, Andromeda has you roaming around in a rover, but scanning like that. Hmm. This will have to see, eventually, maybe. Your research projects Platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, Oops, shotguns, too far. and medical equipment. Now, before I go any further, there is something very important, but immature that must be done. You will see. I suppose I win. Oh. <laughs> Really, Commander? Wait for it. Uranus. 
<laughs> when you can tell how disappointed in you an AI is. Yep. <laughs> worth it. Absolutely worth it. So we've got a few things to do. That's a bit of an understatement. But I think it's safe to start in Omega. Okay. <laughs> if nothing else, unlocking Morden early is a good idea. Hmm. So let's head for Omega. That's three squad mates right there. Yeah. It's also got some shops that we can go shopping in. Shops <laughs> are nice. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by describing factions of every species. There's no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. 7.8 million. Mm -hmm. There's machine pistols now. A nice, so a nice little middle line between assault rifles and not. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and that's a polite batarian. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about well, the yeah. Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Sounds like fun. And well, found found squadmate one. That was fast. Yeah, told you it'd be easy. Shut it. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, oh. shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. 
We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Colorful character, isn't he? <clears throat> I thought they wanted him alive. He is. Shot him in the leg. Oh. Oh, the beast kind of thing, not the corpse rotting kind of thing. Okay, yeah. I get Come on, it. let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. I know it. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. <laughs> I mean, are you gonna try to push your way past Let this? Ten people in while I've been standing. I'm carrying. They were the eyes. This is actually amusing to listen to. If you go all the way through. You even see me over here? Come on. Don't you know who I am? I do a path. <laughs> Look, I'll pay you. I'm prepared to offer you 50 credits. With a fair interest, double it. Okay, 100 credits. Amused, double it. Uh, 200 credits? Assertively, no. Get back in line. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Let me inside well, or I'll died. smash that smelly ass you call a face. With barely constrained menace. Try it. Whatever. I don't <laughs> want to go in there anyway. With barely constrained menace. Go on here. Well, we just walk right in. Yeah, he actually just said Ari is expecting you. Yeah, she is indeed actually expecting us. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Knows better. Yeah, that's a new one. And, welcome to Afterlife. I didn't know we were playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, I'd say it's a bit classier than Chorus Den. Yeah. Well. On, cyber, on Cyberpunk's defense, they do have kind of a lot more technology here. Yeah. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. <sighs> 
Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, yeah? someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. That's how I right. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help him. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really mm. need to find him, so get him to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Okay. Do our best. So we can go through here to start dealing with Archangel, or we can go back out there to go after Morton. Which one do you think? Hmm. What's in front of that nice? Well, I'm curious about that, can you? Alright, Archangel it is. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? So we're not getting paid. Got it. <clears throat> you three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does <coughs> not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? <laughs> Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. This, did he just casually break the pistol? <laughs> uh, specifically, he jammed the heat sink eject. So... <laughs> yeah. In one fell bomb. Uh, it's hard to tell what he did because you know animation. But my best guess is he tried. Is he pushed the eject and then blocked it so that it jammed. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Either way, 
it's now a no longer functioning pistol. Yep. Omega, so was kind what of the point. piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. You can hmm. say she doesn't like this place. Can't say I blame her. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Hmm. I'll bring Zaid. Just to see what he's like. Well, yeah. Concussive, concussive shot. Yep. Good for bringing people alive. Yeah. Also knocks them flat on their ass. Yeah, that also tends to be helpful. He's got assault rifles and sniper rifles. Oh man. Yeah, that's... That's a bounty hunter on it. <laughs> if I've ever seen a bounty hunter loadout... They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant I'm sure you tell that to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we really need to know much more. I better go find oh, Sergeant Kafka. Okay. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in is the easy part. Getting out is risky. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. I mean, it's simple. We just have to kill everyone on the way out. Yeah. Nothing we haven't done before. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Ooh, good idea. So we can sabotage the Mercs units? Yep. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. That sounds like something we should definitely do. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. You know we're right here, right? <coughs> do you need something? You leave the Eclipse? Figure that out by yourself. I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the ESO moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Sounds about right. Yeah, that sure Good sounds idea. personal. Message to Tarak. I've spoken to Gom, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, the possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on, his, on to the next objective. It's clear that none of our organizations will be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Ooh, he wants to move on Arya. Yeah. 
That's uh, yeah. that's something she might be interested in. I don't know if you've heard, but you don't mess with that yet. Well, well, what have we here? So let's mess with mess with them instead. Click. I may have just broken something. Targeting parameters reconfigured. That just slowing down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Refined ESO. Oh yeah, how long have we been recording? Uh, a little bit. Okay. I know when to cut this. Okay. Ran? Vorcha! Vorcha? Ran! You're in the wrong Get place, them. freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing yeah, Archangel so mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the <coughs> one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. I should get going. Interesting. About time. Ugly little bastard, that aren't they? Right? Um, yeah, what? What did those again? Vorcha. Watch. Basically, hmm. vermin. That's all right. Well, he's dead. What? Sorry, I blinked. What happened? <laughs> Opened the door and the Vorcha fell over. <coughs> Hit them. This could be useful. Yeah, there's some um, few nice, nice things to find here. Watch out. Well, well, we know where he is at least. Yeah. Yep. No <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stand there long if he's like, mm, found you. Specifically you. Yep. I mean, you're standing out what in the open. Mean? Yeah, I was about to say that. It's like, yeah, I mean, you were kind of asking for it. Yeah. I just have a few questions about the operation. Get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what seat in your ass? Zaid. <coughs> I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a good ass madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Looks like it. I gotta deal with this shit. Gent, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. <laughs> okay, but camera. You know Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the blue Better suns. than my face is there. <laughs> what can I do for you? What do the blue suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. 
What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing Mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. Well, we know a little more now. We better get going. Good idea. Yeah, we know he's Turian. Mm -hmm. Well, so uh, no, he pretty much had this going. <laughs> I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Like, it's almost as bad as, as trying to go to the Morfork in this world. And arresting a, a member of the Thieves Guild for stealing. <coughs> Come on, All you, right. don't, you, you just don't do those things. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And next time, we actually go and meet Archangel. Mm -hmm. See ya next time. Bye.